So the first step so that we actually have to do is to create a Kubernetes cluster. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're in our IBM Cloud dashboard and of course, um, I'm not gonna show you how to create an IBM Cloud account. It's pretty simple, but you can just follow the registration process and that link should be in the GitHub repo. Um, so the first thing we need to do is create a Kubernetes cluster. So we'll create, click Create Resource and go into the Kubernetes service. And this is really important. Um, once we click this Create, um, the, we have a lot of flexibility to customize exactly what we want. So I'll call this uh, my cluster delete. Um, so I remember to de delete it. Um, we'll keep the geography in North America and we'll keep it multi-zone too. And we'll take out um, the, the Dallas 12 and 13. Um, and now we'll go for the 32 by 32. Um, so we'll see, where is it? Okay, here we go. This, this is better, this is better. Um, so 32 by 32. You can try to do it with a smaller or less cores or less RAM, but every time I've tried that, it's given me some problems. Um, so I do suggest trying to stick with this configuration. Um, then we can click Create Cluster. This is going to take uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, um, so just be patient. Um, so here we'll have the status, and then I'll come back once this is all ready to go. Okay, so now we see that our cluster is 100% normal. Um, so now what we need to do is we actually have to create a blockchain service. So we can search for blockchain. And we'll just say for a you blockchain YouTube demo. Um, we'll click create. And the, the part now is that we have to deploy it onto the IBM Kubernetes service cluster. Um, and the one that I just made is the my cluster delete and then we can deploy that to the cluster. That'll take a couple seconds here. Okay, so now we see our cluster has been linked and we can click uh, launch the IBM blockchain platform. Um, so we'll need to log in with our ID. So the first thing we always want to do is, is actually add the certificate authority. Um, and this is going to be the node that's handing out our public and private um, keys to our participants um, so that every transaction on the network could be linked back to an identity. Um, so we'll start with the insurance SCA. Um, we'll just give it admin, admin PW. So now um, we've created our insurance certificate authority. I'm going to repeat the process for the other four participants. Um, and I'll make this really fast because it's it's really repetitive. Um, so essentially all I've done is I created certificate authorities for the four participants, the insurance, the police, the repair shop, and the shop. And I've given them both, all of them, admin and admin PW, um, enroll ID and an enroll secret. And that's all I've done for now. So now that our certificate authorities are up and running, we see this green um, this green status at the top right corner. Now it's time to actually enroll the um, insurance admin. Um, so the first thing we wanna do is to register a user and this one will be the insurance admin. And I'm just gonna grab this, copy and paste it and put a PW there and that's pretty much it. Great, so we see our insurance admin. Let's go ahead and um, register a peer now, so an insurance peer. Um, and then for the peer, we'll just do uh, insurance peer PW for the password, and then we'll choose the type as peer, and that's pretty much it. Awesome, um, so now that we've created the insurance admin, insurance peer, we'll do the exact same thing for the other certificate authorities, and I'll speed this part up, but it's the same naming convention for all of them. So it'll be like shop admin, shop peer, uh, police admin, police peer, um, and the password will just be PW. So we'll create the uh, shop peer, shop admin. Next to the shop peer. Please. 
So now that we've created all the identities with our, our certificate authority, it's time to create the membership service definition. And this will help us create a peer. Um, but first, yeah, we'll have to add these um, MSP definitions. And I'll start with the insurance MSP definition and the rest of the organizations will be identical or pretty much the exact same. So I'll speed, speed through those real quick. Um, but for this one, we'll start with the display name called insurance MSP. Um, and for the MSP ID, just uh, insurance MSP. And then for the root authority details, we'll just create for the insurance CA and then it'll auto generate these root certificates and we'll, it'll check for our enroll ID, which should be insurance admin and then insurance admin PW is the password. And then we'll just call this the insurance admin and that's pretty much it. And um, the process is the same, so I'll speed through this next uh, couple MSPs. Okay, now that we've finished creating our MSP definitions, we can go ahead and add some peers. So we'll start with the insurance and I'll speed through the, the, the rest. So we'll pick our enroll ID insurance peer and then our password is insurance peer PW. And then the TLS enroll secret is just admin PW. And then I'll just leave the default and then we'll leave the insurance admin. The process is the same. Okay, so now that we've actually created all of our peers, it's time to create the ordering service. Um, but before we do that, we need to create a certificate authority for our ordering service. So we'll do that first and we'll call it um, order admin and admin PW. Okay, so now that we've uh, created the order service, we'll register a couple users. So first we want to um, enroll an admin for our organization. So we'll create the order admin. And then we have to create the order appear. We'll just call this order one. So order one PW and we'll say it's appear. So we'll go ahead and create the order MSP definition. And then we'll do the order admin. And then here we'll just do order admin. <clears throat> and then lastly, we actually want to create the order. Um, so if we go here, we can click add ordering service. Um, we can click IBM Cloud. Um, we can just call it the order. And then I'll ask us what certificate authority we want. So we'll just call the order CA. Um, order one, oops. 
order one is gonna be the pure name and then we can do order one PW. And then we'll just use the order admin. Okay, so now that we've created the ordering service, we'll actually wanna um, add some members in the consortium um, so that we can interact with them. So we'll go to um, the orderer and then we can add consortium members down here. So we'll add some organizations. So we'll go ahead and add the police MSP. Um, we'll add the insurance. Okay, so we've added all our consortium members. Um, now we actually have to create the channel.